This is CGTN, China Global Television Network. South Africa's University of Johannesburg launched an acupuncture center and museum in collaboration with the Fujit University of Traditional Chinese Medicine in 2019. That cooperation did not stop there and has since grown to support more learners of complementary medicine, as Angela Coppola now reports. The health science facility at the University of Johannesburg then introduced a Bachelor of Complementary Medicine in 2020. And as part of this Bachelor, we introduced further than homeopathy, also acupuncture and phytotherapy. Um, and the clinics we have currently are more aligned to homeopathy. And so we had to bring a platform that would treat, um, but also uh, train our students with regard to acupuncture um, and our clinicians uh, and give them that platform to really um, get in, stuck in acupuncture and the treatments of acupuncture. The local medical fraternity showed a lot of interest in Chinese medicine and the additional courses offered. And with that, we also added on the postgraduate diploma. So practitioners or diagnostic practitioners in practice, like doctors or your uh, chiropractors or um, any other medical discipline uh, where they are diagnosticians, they can then also do these postgraduate diplomas and offer these um, modalities of treatment to their patients. Medical practitioners are responding to a growing appetite for complementary medicine from their patients. Now, I really like that type of medicine where you go into such depth with your patient to make sure that you're finding out what's going on, not just maybe just looking at the symptom they're complaining about, say, for instance, a headache. We want to look at underlying causes of the headache. Why do they have a headache? What's the root cause? So maybe it's their pillow. Maybe their pillow is too, too small or too big and it's causing neck pain, which is causing headache. For some doctors, it doesn't stop with patient treatment. I like to do lecturing to uh, pass on my knowledge to the students and to help ensure that they have good knowledge as well in the future so that they can be the best practitioners that they can be. So uh, it's a nice way for me as a, as a practitioner to be constantly working with the material so that my knowledge is also as good as it can be. Chinese medicine seems to have come to the mainstream now with lots of practitioners involving themselves in the course material so that they can add value to their patients. I'm Angelo Coppola for CGTN in Johannesburg, South Africa.